Hello, welcome to Lipocamp. Today I'm starting a new series called French for Entertainment. The first episode in this series is about Pokémon. Let's go! So first, let's talk about the main concept of Pokémon. Pokémon is about um, a child, or a few children, that have their own Pokémon, and they travel the world to live adventures, and they fight trainers, etc. So let's start with this uh, vocabulary. Children, in French, is said enfant. Enfant. Pokémon, it's almost the same word. We say Pokémon. Pokémon. We add an accent on the E to make the sound E. So, Pokémon. A travel, as a noun, is said voyage, voyage, and to travel is voyager, voyager. An adventure is une aventure, aventure, une aventure. The trainers in French are dresseurs, des dresseurs, and to fight is Combattre. Combattre. Now let's see a few sentences with um, these words. Sacha est un enfant qui a un Pokémon. Il voyage pour devenir un grand dresseur Pokémon. Sacha est un enfant qui a un Pokémon. Il voyage pour devenir un grand dresseur Pokémon. So Sacha is Ash's name in French. So Ash is a kid who has a Pokémon. He's traveling to become a great Pokémon trainer. Let's see another sentence. Dans ses aventures, il combat d'autres dresseurs Pokémon. Dans ses aventures, il combat d'autres dresseurs Pokémon. It means in his adventures, he fights with other Pokémon trainers. Now, let's see what they are doing in this adventure. So, in their adventures, um, Ash and his friends, they are going to battle arenas, they are fighting champions, um, and they are getting badges. Um, and after that, they usually go to the Pokémon Center to heal their Pokémon. In French, it's going to be these words. An arena is... Une arène. Une arène. A champion is un champion. Un champion. It's a very similar word, isn't it? And if it's a woman, it's going to be une championne. Championne. You can add another N and an E at the end of champion. It becomes une championne, which is the feminine word for champion. And the badge is the same word. It's un badge. Un badge. So the Pokémon Center is le centre Pokémon. Le centre Pokémon. It's quite similar. We have the words in a different order, but centre Pokémon. And to heal one's Pokémon is going to be soigner son Pokémon. If it's like only one Pokémon, we use son. And if it's several Pokémon, we're going to say soigner ses Pokémon. So, son is the singular of C. So, soigner son or C Pokémon. Let's see a few sentences with these words. Pour devenir un grand dresseur Pokémon, Sacha combat des champions dans des arènes. S'il gagne, il obtient un badge. So, devenir is to become. Pour devenir un grand dresseur Pokémon, in order to become a great Pokémon trainer, Sacha combat des champions dans des arènes. Remember, combat is to fight. So, il combat. He is fighting, he fights. Sacha combat des champions dans des arènes. Sacha fights champions in arenas. S'il gagne, il obtient un badge. Obtient is the conjugation for obtenir, which means to gain, to earn, to get. 
So, in order to become a great Pokémon trainer, Ash fights champions in battle arenas. If he wins, he gets a badge. A second sentence. Quand ses Pokémon sont blessés, Sasha va au centre Pokémon pour soigner ses Pokémon. So, blessé means hurt. Quand ses Pokémon sont blessés, when his Pokémon are hurt, Sasha va au centre Pokémon pour soigner ses Pokémon. Sasha uh, goes to the Pokémon Center to heal his Pokémon. Next. Um, I thought we could do a little uh, part where we could explain the different types of Pokémon. So, in English we have normal, grass, fighting, fire, electric, poison, water, ice, ground. That is the first part. The second part is going to be uh, explained uh, just after that. So let's see what the words are in French. Normal is the same word, just with a French pronunciation. Normal. Normal. Normal type. Le type. Normal. Grass is plante. Plante. Le type plante. Fighting is combat. Le type combat. Fire is le feu. Le type feu. Fire type. Electric is electric. So here in French we are writing electric with a K at the end. It's not the actual way to write electric uh, in a normal context. It's only for Pokemon. Electric is usually uh, written with Q-U-E. That's the correct spelling. But for Pokemon, we got a, a K instead of Q-U-E, if you are playing the game, for example. Um, poison is the same word in French. Uh, just pay attention that in French, O and I together becomes wa. So, poison. Poison. Oops. Water. Water is O. Le type O. So it's not really intuitive for beginners that E A U is pronounced O, but if you studied French for a while, that you, uh, now you know that E A U is O. Ice is glace, le type glace, ice type. And um, ground is sol, le type sol. So, um, a few of these words are not like literal translation. So, for example, grass in French should be maybe something like herbe or something like that. A uh, plant could be translated as uh, a plant in English. These are the French words for these types. It doesn't have to be like literal translation. Let's continue. So, the other types are flying, rock, dragon, psychic, ghost, steel, bug, dark, and fairy. Let's see the French words for these words. Flying is vol. Vol. Le type vol. Rock is roche. Roche. Dragon is the same. Dragon, just O-N together is on. So, dragon, dragon. Psychic is psi, psi. Be careful to pronounce the P in the beginning of the word, psi. A ghost is spectre, spectre. Le type spectre, ghost type. Steel is acier, acier. Le type acier. Steel type. Bug, we use the word insect. Insect. Dark is ténèbre. Ténèbre. Le type ténèbre. And the last one is fairy, which is fée. Une fée. Le type fée. Let's go on. So here we are going to see strength and weaknesses of Pokemon. So um, the basic vocabulary about this.
So here we have the um, five words. The word, the first word is strength. Strength. It's une force. Une force. Weakness is une faiblesse. Une faiblesse. Weakness. Faiblesse. Pokeball is une pokeball. Une pokeball. Here again we added a, um, the accent. Une pokeball. A potion is also very similar, just with a French pronunciation, so une potion. Potion. And the last one, berries. Uh, so a berry is une baie. Une baie. Let's see a few sentences. Le type feu est fort face au type plante. La faiblesse du type feu est le type eau. So, fort, like the, le type feu est fort, fort, uh, is uh, the adjective for force. Force, a strength, and fort means strong. Le type feu est fort face au type plante. La faiblesse du type feu est le type eau. So the fire type is strong against the plant type. The weakness of the fire type is the water type. Next. Mon Pokémon est blessé. Je lui donne une potion et une baie. Remember, we said blessé means hurt. So my Pokémon is hurt. I'm giving it a potion and a berry. And the last one. J'ai lancé une Pokéball, mais le Pokémon s'est libéré. Lancé means to throw. And s'est libéré means broke free. So, j'ai lancé une Pokéball. I threw a Pokéball. Mais le Pokémon s'est libéré. But the Pokémon broke free. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if this type of content is interesting, please let me know so I can create other videos like this. Um, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. I'll do my best to answer. See you!